getting that phone call is probably one of the most difficult phone calls I think we've ever gotten. And you know when the doctor calls himself that it's probably not good news. He said they had looked at her tests and the procedure that they thought they could do, they didn't feel that there was enough wall around the hole in her heart that it would be successful and that she would need open heart surgery. That was the type of thing that over time would lead to enlargement of the heart and have negative long-term consequences. I, I couldn't imagine how this little four-year-old little girl was going to go through that. There's few things that injustices that you know we I personally react to more than you know why would a child need to be born with a problem in their heart all messed up when they you know they, they didn't do anything to deserve this. You know after my initial meltdown and crying about it and I can still cry about it to this day um, we knew we just had to be strong for her. For, for your daughter you want to get it over quick. You want to get down there have it have it fixed and then get into recovery. I remember that my parents told me when I got home what I did was I wanted to go on my bike and ride around. But they said I couldn't because I was still recovering. I, I feel amazing. I, there's nothing different that I can't do except two things, which I probably wouldn't do. It's wrestling and tackle football. Hey, honey. Hi. How are you? Good. Well, yeah. it's almost like it, it seems like it was a lifetime ago because unless... There, I mean, there is, she has no limitations. It's only when you see that faint little scar on mm -hmm. her chest. Mm -hmm. And in, in something that used to bother her, and I think now she's actually, she's kind of proud of it. Yay! Because it, it symbolizes something to her. Mm -hmm. And that's the only time, you know, I think about it once in a while, but when I see that scar, that's when I realize how lucky we are. When she decided she was going to do this pageant, we talked about the fact that she had to do an introduction in front of a couple hundred people. What can we talk about? What makes you unique? And right away, it was her, her heart surgery. And, you know, we said, well, why do you want that to be what you talk about? And she said, because she wanted to be able to tell other kids her story and that, um, if she can be okay, then they can too. This year I won first place for Miss Wisconsin and I went to nationals a couple months ago. Because I had open heart surgery when I was four years old and I wanted to tell people that if they had open heart surgery or they had something that was different about them, it shouldn't let anything stop them. Because her scar did used to bother her and you know we would talk about how it's not something that she should be ashamed of. It's something that, that should remind her of what she went through and how brave she is. So this year she talked about um, that her scar does not define her and that um, beauty's not on the outside, that it comes from the heart. It worries me that had there not been these advances and you know the American Heart Association wasn't so involved in educating you know, the kids and the doctors and, and that type of thing, that I just, I worry that something really bad could have happened to her. I worry that it wouldn't have been detected. And again, that we could be those parents whose child collapsed while playing a sport. Um, you know, we will, will forever be grateful for the advances that they've been able to help make. Yeah, our life would be different, um, and um, we're just, just thankful um, for all that they do.